snake in your state. One of the first places that I recommend you pay a visit to when you come to Philadelphia is the Baylor's Bakery inside the Reading Terminal Market. These guys have been making fresh donuts every day for nearly 30 years and counting and their donuts are amazing. They're actually one of the first Amish merchants to actually set up shop inside the big city of Philadelphia and their donuts are great. You have amazing cream filled donuts as well as regular cake based donuts. This is the Dutch. It's a great cake donut. <laughs> and not only do they do donuts, but they also have pastries and other baked goods as well. Uh, it ranges from cookies to breads to pies to cakes to anything of a dessert nature. Custards, tarts, you know, you see the whoopie pies, and it's just a large variety of things that these people make from scratch and I recommend that you check them out whenever you're in Center City in Philadelphia. I like the little castle top that this thing has. Sabrina's Cafe is a great place to have brunch. I've been to two of the venues so far. I've been to the Callow Hill Street location as well as the North 34th Street location. So around the Callow Hill Street location, it was pretty decent uh, looking at the outside. So this place looks pretty nice, but then I get inside and I'm like, whoa, this place is packed to the brim. There's uh, people on the sidelines waiting to be seated in. And for me, it was at least a 45 minute wait in the noontime, pretty much around brunch time. It was a 45 minute wait to be seated. And it smelled great in here. You can smell the food in the atmosphere. There's a lot of people inside as well. But those who had to wait along with myself who didn't have room to wait inside, was waiting outside to be called in and um, the wait was quite worth it to be honest. When I actually was seated and was flipping through the menu to figure out what I wanted to get, I seen the Sabrina's signature prefix items and the two items that really caught my eye was the stuffed chala French toast and the barking chihuahua. Stuffed chala French toast is a blend of cream cheese, bananas and honey topped with bananas and vanilla bean syrup. And Bark and Chihuahua is a flour tortilla with scrambled eggs, black beans, red peppers, and pepper jack cheese topped with sour cream and marinara sauce. I really was feeling the atmosphere in the 34th Street location. And while I was waiting to be seated, it felt so homey and comfortable. I love this location already. I said, oh cool, I'm gonna enjoy the food. And then I seen the menu. The menu is based off of the Game of Thrones. It had the Game of Thrones themes called Feast of Thrones and it had the King's Landing special eggs Benedict. And man, I tell you, this thing was slamming. The only thing I didn't like much about it was the size felt small to me, but it was slamming. Original portion size is not that big. I mean, it looks pretty decent for this one. Once again, we have another video of our friend Nate from Nate in Your State diving straight in into the Egg Benedict King's Landing special and he's working through the steak, eating the potatoes, eating the English muffin and enjoying it at the same time. The next thing I tried on the menu is the Daenerys Storm Born Mexi Special. And for those who don't know, Daenerys is the Dragon Queen in Game of Thrones. And the portion size, once again, I'm not satisfied with the portion size because I'm a big eater. The presentation, though, was really beautiful. I liked how it looked coming out from the server's hand, and it tasted as good as it looked. I cannot kid you not. It was, it was great. And I dived into it. I wanted to try everything separately first. I wanted to try the scrambled eggs before trying the chicken ropa second. And then after I tried those guys separately, then I decided to add in the toppings, the guacamole, the sour cream, and the salsa mix. 
And that's all I have to say about Sabrina while I'm here chopping it down. I love their food. The food is great. And I'll definitely be back to try out more things on the menu next time I'm in Philadelphia. In the next episode, I want to talk about the afternoon meals that I had in Philadelphia. Be sure to check out episode one where I go to Pizza Barn for the Super Slice, episode two where I go to Sandy Springs, Georgia for Battle and Brew, and episode three where I ride to Philadelphia. The links to those videos will be in the show notes below. I hope you enjoyed this episode on Bruffix in Philly. If you did, what I want you to do is click subscribe, click on the bell thingy, and drop a like. If you want to support the show more directly, be sure to visit my Patreon. Once again, I am Nate from Nate in Your State. Thank you so much for watching. Keep eating, keep exploring, and I'll see you next time.